Welcome to another product review. This time we have Cyberlink's Power Director 14. So this is the tool. Very quickly, and I've got a project loaded so you can see the actual interface. This or these are the tracks for your video editing. Up here we have your media library, your FX, um, your picture in picture, particle room title room, your transitions, your audio mixer, your voiceover and then you have a chapter and subtitle room for when you want to create your video DVD. Over here we have a capture which will bring up the webcam and allows you to capture direct from the webcam into the product. We have a produce which is what you would use to create the video. So you can choose, say, for example, a format. You can choose the profile, different types. You can choose the um, video format for the disc. And again, lots of. So if I use AVC, I can choose the the type of output. So MPEG4, etc. Down here, you can choose the fast video rendering technology if you have it on your card. Um, you've got your Adobe Digital, upload a copy to Cyberlink, preview, and then over here you've got where the output's going to go to, and you just literally select that. You can create a disk. What this does is it goes into a, a, a part of the tool that allows you to edit and create a, the video screen. So you can choose menus, you can set it up to do that, you can actually, the type of disk that you want to output and so on. So this is if you want to take your video that you've edited and just put it straight to a DVD, burn out a DVD, go back to edit. Over on the right here you've got the app, so you get the mobile app, you've got the check to get updates and upgrades and then you've got the director zone. Now the director zone is a thing that I always thought is the biggest, bestest part of the Power Director tools. And what it is, it, it's a uh, a place where other users of Power Director upload their own created templates for you to use for free. So you can see you can actually go to any of these links and you can see some you can buy and some of them are free as you can see all there and there's hundreds of stuff that's been going for many years so there's there's hundreds and hundreds of things that, that are going on on that director zone. Biggest best part of Power Director. Now the tool itself to edit is very easy. What you would do is you'd select a video, you pull it onto the timeline, and then you literally can just cut out bits by that you that you want to cut out from the tool. And when you press delete, you can either remove and leave the gap open, you can remove and fill the gap, or you can remove and fill the gap and move all clips. If you have three or four clips over here and you fill the gap, it would only move the clip closest from the right to the left and leave gaps for the rest so that's a really easy quick way to move everything to the left. What you can also do if you remove it and if you cut away a bit too much you can actually just grab the video and you can pull it across and you can pull back the bit that you might have actually accidentally deleted so the editing, the replacing and the, the, the manipulating the video is really easy it's just literally delete and then you can drag and you can uh, you know if you've cut say a second too much off you can pull back that second so it's a really easy thing to do. You can also manipulate the elements such as the volume so if I move over to the right here you can see here I have two separate clips this one has a separate soundtrack you can see how I've manipulated the sound where I've actually have a point where I actually start to go down so it's very easy to manipulate things like that. So you just literally select them and, and you can um, manipulate the, the, the using the tools to, to do that um, in the audio to, uh, audio mixing etc. 
there we go so you can actually manipulate the audio very easily over on the right here you've got the preview window so you can preview what the video looks like that you're editing it's easy to use to cut out the bits that you want or see what the final thing looks like you can see there you can set markers and you can uh, take a snapshot if you want to have it in a 3d or 2d and then you can actually pull that out and move that window around have search facility if you want to search the media library that you have there you've got your plugins if you want to add plugins so for example multicam designers there theme designers there screen recorders there up the top here we have our preferences so if you need to change any preferences within the tool you have your aspect ratio so you can change it to 4x3 or 16 by 9 and do a redo and save and then in these links you have more or less everything you can do from the UI itself plus a couple of extra things so you can like produce a movie etc um, edit wise you've got your magic tools which are also down here obviously um, and again aspect ratio and so on you can get the different views like picture in picture object rooms so that just literally manipulates this and um, sort by and, and, and zoom in and then you've got your playback options there now as we saw if I go back to the video you've got a few different things you can do here like you can modify you can fix and enhance so these tools or this system has, has grown better each year um, I started first using Powder at uh, version 8 and you didn't have any of this great stuff uh, compared to today. I mean, it was still 32 bit there. When it went to number not version 9, it was then said to be the first 64 bit home consumer product. It, it, you know, it kind of shows how oh, I was on the peak of the wave of actually doing these things. But you can see there, for example, you've got light adjustment, lens correction, um, video stabilization, denoiser, audio denoiser lots of enhancements you can actually do there just cancel that because otherwise it'll take a while to go through that lot um, so moving that away coming back we can see here that I've actually been playing around with here and I can actually I've added some effects and to add an effect is really easy if you want to add effects to your video you literally just choose the effect and then you just drag it in and then there you go the effect is added all these effects you can add very easily by just dragging them into the part of the into the effects timeline the part along the timeline of the video that you want to direct, drag it into and it affects the video it's really easy to do same thing with like particles you know you want to add a bit of particle you just drag it onto the bit of timeline you want to add it to and then we can see now where I've dragged it to so it's just we okay, let's put it there so you can actually see it. If we play that now, we can see now the particles added. It's very easy to do, <laughs> very simple to add these things. So that's it. I mean, it's Power Director. It's it's a great tool by a company called Cyberlinks, which has been around for many years. They do a number of different products, but Power Director is one of the kind of their forerunners, as it were it's used by many many people as I say there's a great community out there on, on director's own the editing of the videos is really easy and simple to do as you saw it's just literally you just choose parts that you want to change or edit or cut you can cut and you can manipulate so I can actually you know literally cut a bit out there and then I could actually move that to the end if I wanted to it's really easy to manipulate the timeline and as I say at that point there because it's non-destructive I can actually again pull out bits extra so I could double it up as it were really easy to edit and, and manipulate want to add effects just add effects you want to transitions you want to do voiceovers just an option to choose really easy and simple to use great product so if you've been wondering what Power Director 14 is like hopefully this video has given you an idea I like it, I've, I've always liked it, I use it as one of the tools that I use, I've used it for many years, the direct design has given me many great free templates, especially around Christmas and holiday time when you want to add those, those special kind of videos, 
it, it really does provide that and it's all free it, it, you know it's all there provided for free you literally just have to play through them find the one you want download and use it so guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this video I hope that this has fulfilled the sort of things you wanted to see if you wanted to see what Power Director 14 was like and uh, yeah any questions please leave a comment thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video bye for now